Hello, my name is Puriya Yagini and I'm presenting our accepted paper in IEEE Transaction and Computer Journal. This paper explores the challenges brought on by capacitive and inductive TSV to TSV coupling in TSV based 3D ICs. Based on our analysis, we propose two approaches to mitigate these effects. In the former approach, a novel coding technique that adjusts the current flow pattern is proposed to mitigate the inductive coupling effects. In the latter one, an alternative architecture wrapping around the TSVs is proposed to greatly reduce the capacitive coupling effect. In this paper, we have targeted three-dimensional network on chip as the main application. The combination of TSV-based 3D packaging and NOC is the most promising approach for obtaining the projected performance and power requirements for exascale systems. TSVs offer higher bandwidth, smaller form factors, shorter wire length, and also lower power and better performance than tra traditional 2D wires. But on the other hand, they suffer from physical faults, such as chip warpage, TSV coupling, and thermal stress, which in this paper, we are trying to address the TSV coupling issue. The TSV to TSV coupling is a data-dependent effect. In other words, the current flow of each TSV is determined by considering the consequent data bits, which are supposed to be transferred through each TSV. So we define each TSV as either active or inactive. Any input data transition leads to active TSV by making the current flow either upward or downward based on the transition type and the sender location. This is the fundamental concept of our approaches. The first method presented in this paper is about inductive coupling fault mitigation in TSV buses. After characterizing the TSV to TSV inductive coupling at circuit level, we propose an algorithm which encodes the NOC fillets or any type of data that is going to be transferred by the TSVs. This coding, using adding some redundant information, helps in lowering the TSV coupling faults caused by inductive coupling. Since this article is an extension to our previously published paper in DFT 2015 conference, we can find more information about inductive coupling fault mitigation in that paper. Different data inputs lead to different capacitive coupling effect on each TSV. For a TSV with four aggressor neighbor, this effect can go up to 8C in our categorizations. Assuming the circle with the dot indicating the upward current flow and the circle with the cross on side showing the reverse current flow. In this example, the TSV in the center would be impacted by 5C capacitive coupling in total. Here, the capacitive coupling is categorized to nine different cases from 0C to 8C. And the occurrence frequency and the occurrence probability of each pattern is calculated as it is shown in this table. As the main contribution of this article, a novel architecture is proposed to prevent the adverse coupling cases to occur. This architecture uses dual rail coding to code the information. As you can see, the dual rail coding out of each pair of victim and aggressor TSVs, one of them is always neutral or inactive, which in case of a set of four aggressor and one victim TSV, the TSV coupling effect would never exceed 4C in this approach. But this comes at an additional price that in dual rail coding, each bit is translated into two bits leading to 100% overhead. To compensate the dual rail coding's overhead, we propose to use asynchronous architecture to exploit the high efficiency of TSV and also to code each four bits of synchronous domain to three bits in asynchronous domain. You can see that 
two wrappers are being used in this approach one synchronous to asynchronous and the asynchronous to synchronous wrapper in these wrappers we have used the c element and also the inputs to the wrappers and the output are three bits which two bits are for the dual rail coding and the other bit is for the asynchronous acknowledgement the experimental results prove the efficacy of our asynchronous approach as you can see in both the simulations that we have run with realistic benchmark and also the synthetic traffic the 5c and beyond adverse capacitive coupling cases are being removed as a future work to this article we are considering to propose a high performance asynchronous circuit to go beyond 800 megahertz and also an integrated method to mitigate both inductive and capacitive coupling at the same time would be desired. Also, we can extend this work to support more than four aggressor TSVs.